The vulture or alligator turtle is one of the largest freshwater turtles in the world. The maximum length of its shell can reach 66 centimeters, and the weight is 150 kilograms. The reptile belongs to the Cayman tortoise family. It got its name because of the extremely powerful jaws, which, like a huge press, grind everything that gets into the turtle's mouth. A reptile can easily bite off a human finger or inflict deep wounds with its claws if provoked by inappropriate behavior. This turtle is radically different in its frightening appearance from the usual cute-looking turtles, so it's unlikely that someone will come up with the idea to put their fingers in her mouth. The habitat is in North America and was first described in 1835 by Gerard Trust, an American naturalist of Danish origin. The reptile prefers to settle in slow-flowing rivers, impassable swamps, lakes and canals. It is attracted to areas of water bodies, abundantly overgrown with aquatic and coastal vegetation, where you can easily hide. The vulture turtle spends most of its life lying on the bottom of a reservoir, buried in silt or hiding in the thick of a plant. Males never leave their waters, and females come out onto land only to lay their eggs. The shell of a reptile is abundantly overgrown with algae throughout its life, providing it with excellent camouflage along with a dirty brown color. It is almost impossible to notice an adult animal hiding among plants in muddy water. The nature of the vulture turtle is quite calm. She has no habit of biting and attacks only when someone decides to get close to her head. A disturbed reptile is not to be trifled with. Its strong jaws easily bite through a branch as thick as a human hand. Their pressure force reaches 75 kilograms per one square centimeter. The vulture turtle is an active diurnal predator. It feeds on fish, amphibians, invertebrates, and carrion. At an opportunity, he will not refuse snakes and even other turtles. In captivity, she demonstrates the presence of an excellent appetite, consuming any kind of meat. This turtle has mastered an excellent low-energy method of hunting. Having gathered to have a bite, she motionlessly lies on the bottom of the reservoir, often buried up to half in the silt and her mouth wide open. The alligator turtle patiently waits for the appearance of some curious fish. At the tip of the tongue, she has a movable appendix. At rest, it is usually white, but when the predator begins to move her tongue, the process turns red from the rush of blood and turns into a magnificent bait. The oral cavity has a dark mucous membrane and, against its background, the red process is easy to mistake for an earthworm or other tasty living creatures. Intrigued by the writhing worm, the fish swims right into the mouth of the turtle and all she has to do is close her jaws to get the trophy without moving. She swallows a small victim whole and breaks a large one into pieces with her claws. The mating season for these turtles begins with the arrival of spring. The females go to land and bury 10 to 50 eggs at a distance of up to 50 meters from the water. Having buried the masonry, the female returns to the reservoir and is no longer interested in the further fate of her offspring. Turtles appear in early autumn. They immediately rush to the saving water, but even their many dangers await them. Adult relatives do not miss the opportunity to feast on the younger generation, and the surviving turtles become sexually mature only by the age of 13, acquiring a length of up to 80 centimeters and a weight of up to 100 kilograms. Under natural conditions, vulture turtles live for more than 100 years. As a pet, such a turtle is not suitable. In most countries, the keeping of an alligator tortoise at home is prohibited or requires special permission.